Hey guys, this is Mark Walton for Ars Technica. I'm here with Sam. We're in LA and we've just heard about Project Scorpio. Project Scorpio, holy cow. They dropped a bomb at uh -huh. the Microsoft press conference. Well, as much of a bomb after a lot of leaks, a lot of speculation, everyone thought something was being made, didn't know when it would be announced, exactly what shape it would be. A lot of big numbers had been predicted and those yep. were absolutely announced today. Yeah, absolutely. So key specs, six teraflops, which is a huge, Huge increase. It yeah, what's that, four times? Four times, it was like 1.3, maybe two teraflops in the old Xbox One, that's huge. Yeah, that's just um, a, a giant leap. Yeah, so if you're, this thing is gonna do 4K gaming. Uh, they were talking about doing Fallout 4 in VR, which was announced yesterday, but this is gonna be on this new Xbox, mm -hmm. apparently. Um, that, to me, also screams like it could be a separate GPU. It could be, we're, we're definitely getting eight times, it's an eight-core processor as well. Yep. We have now answered some questions that only beg so many more. <laughs> what is the VR solution going to be? That was not said. Uh, what we do know is accessories all across the board are going to work. Everything from every other Xbox system is going to go forward to this Project Scorpio, which is the code name. I don't, I imagine that's not gonna be the name in stores unless they really decide to put like a Bond villain sort of yeah. look on the box, which I would love. But. No, I, I would like that. I mean, I could imagine uh, Xbox One 4K, it would make sense. You know, this thing is supposed to do 4K gaming. It's also, more importantly, going to do HDR, which as anyone knows, uh, is probably the most, like, it looks amazing, mm -hmm. HDR Indeed. stuff. Right? Yes, yeah, so 4K is one thing that that people don't quite notice sometimes, but HDR adds that really important contrast that shines really well in 3D yeah. gaming. So uh, other stuff that this Xbox One, I think um, it's gonna have 320 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth, again, huge jump up from the old one. And again, it seems like they're going with a similar solution to Sony for that, like a GDDR5 solution Indeed. in order to get that bandwidth. And be interesting to see, AMD has talked a lot about its um, semi-custom wins. Be interesting to see if this is indeed part of that a AMD plan coming for going forward. Uh, I do think it was very important that Phil Spencer made clear leaving no player behind. Very big push to say that uh, because there's been a lot of concerns about the competition and how there's gonna maybe some confusion and what will and won't work on other systems. Made it very clear all the Xboxen are going to play <laughs> all of the same things. What that means for developers going forward, who knows how much of a pain in the butt that's gonna be yeah, to exactly. optimize for every system. But it sounds like they want this to work in a way that doesn't annoy gamers. So. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's still a tough sell, right? For people that have just bought a console, or, you know, maybe they're interested, you know, in maybe getting a PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, suddenly going, oh man, I, I've kind of got to wait for this new one now. I either, or I, I upgrade, and that, that's kind of a tough sell for people that are used to that six or seven year console cycle. To help that wait, in the meantime, uh, there was an announcement of a yeah. whole other piece of kit, which we saw a leak pop up yesterday, totally confirmed, started the show talking about the Xbox One S. Yes, indeed. So the Xbox One S is a smaller Xbox. Basically, it's white, it's lovely, uh, fixes some of the biggest problems I had with it, which was simply that it was too big. Too big. Um, Getting rid of the power brick, which oh. they didn't talk about in the show, but that is a big thing. Yeah. Uh, it looks, they showed the nice zoom down of the sizing. Uh, 4K in menus, 4K in, uh, uh, streaming video apps, Blu 4K and Blu-ray, that's gonna be a big deal. Also talking about HDR, and they showed gameplay while talking about HDR. Yep. So ideally, we're gonna get some of that HDR compatibility in certain games. We'll remain to be seen how that actually shows through, and hopefully they'll have some nice monitors on the show floor. Yeah, I hope so. That. Yeah, I mean, so it goes to show, if you want some of that new tech, you don't necessarily have to spring for what I imagine is going to be an expensive console in the Scorpio, make no mistake. So you can get the Xbox S, it's starting at 299, 299 US, which US. I believe is the existing price now, right? It's not a price cut. No, no, it's a little bit, it's actually a, a tiny bit smaller, but there's no pack-in. They do a lot of pack-in of games and stuff to make that even out. It'll be how that pricing plays out in the future remains to be seen, but definitely at affordable, if you're gonna talk about an upgrade, they're not charging a premium for that. No, absolutely. So, you know, if you've not jumped on Xbox One yet, it's a good shout. All right, guys, well, look, you know, if you want to check out more on Scorpio and the Xbox S and any of the hardware stuff, you know, just head over to arstechnica.com. We've got all the write-ups there. That's it from Sam. That's it from me. We'll see you uh, later on.